Hello everybody, welcome back to The Sims 1 Complete Collection, here with me, Tea Addict. How are you guys? Happy Friday! Um, I am good, I am cold, which is why I'm wearing my very noisy, very puffy black jacket. Um, it's very cold and wet and windy and rainy here today, and I just had to go out. I know, right? Um, oh, sorry Skittles, I just kicked my dog. I just had to go to the chiropractor and uh, also to the grocery store and my neck got cracked. Oh my god, it feels amazing. Anyway, so we're back in The Sims 1 and today we're starting again with round four. I think we're starting now. So we're going back into the newbie family and uh, continuing on with Bob and Betty. So Bob and Betty, I have a note here for myself that apparently I need to let them have two days off of work this time because last time we must have not taken a day off or something like that. Um, so that's cool. No worries. So what we'll do is we'll do a day off and then we'll uh, go to work and then we'll do another day off or something like that. But um, Bob and Betty are struggling a little bit with money. So they've got 913 simoleons. Uh, they've both got jobs. Bob's a substitute teacher. Betty is a lobbyist in the politician career. And Betty needs some more skill points to get promoted. Uh, Bob's carpool will come in an hour. Oh, dear. Um, is it too late to call in sick for work then? <laughs> Let's see if we can. Let's see if it's not too late. He's going to complain, though, and be like oh yep there he is there's his little tantrum okay but yeah so bob is also working on like this woodworking and painting thing so we can make gnomes right now which is kind of fun uh yes we've got montezuma's revenge excellent so you got the day off thank you very much let's go ahead and get him sort of showered up and ready for the day and then betty betty's gonna continue sleeping okay the carpool came anyway but i'm just gonna not take it i'm gonna let that carpool disappear but yeah, so we need a creativity skill point for Bob and Betty needs a logic skill point. So we, I don't think we can actually get either of those things at the moment from our house, which is going to make that very difficult. So I'll have to think about a way that we can get creativity and logic for these Sims. Oh, Betty's carpool's coming in an hour as well. Gosh, dang it. Sorry. Got to call in sick. Got to call in sick. Um, because yeah, we could buy something for them, obviously, but like, so creativity, I guess an easel is not too expensive. That's only 250 small in, so we can buy that. But then what about logic? What have we like, so this chess table is 399. It's actually like, well, like checkers than chess. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. It's like checkers. Oh, I used to play checkers with my grandpa. May he rest in peace. Um, so yeah, we could get this, but that would set us back a little bit of money because then we'd also need chairs for it. But I guess we could just borrow the dining room chairs like when we want to play checkers. I guess that could be fine. Well, I mean, no, I, like, how much are my chairs? I've got some like $10 ones. That's from my modded stuff that I haven't fixed yet still. These chairs are 80. So that leaves us with 174 simoleons. Well... It's not very much money, but maybe this will be worth it because we can we can get our promotions from this. I'm going to hope that this is going to be worth it <laughs> so we can get our promotions. Uh, yeah, let's see how we go. Now, uh, you're not going to go to work today. Now, we also, I'm seeing here, need a family friend and Betty needs two family friends. So we'll definitely have to go out today and focus a little bit on trying to make some friends around the town. So you can go ahead and paint a little bit, Bob. See if you can get that creativity skill point. I don't want Bob and Betty Newbie to get promoted up too high because I want them to continue to kind of like, you know, be in the struggle town and stuff. Uh, so yeah. And then the other thing we have to do is actually work on their relationship. Oh, look, we're like kind of almost friends with Wesley. Okay, well, we'll see if we can run into Wesley Hero today. You don't really know anyone, but I would love it if you could be friends with Diane Pleasant and uh, Tiffany Bourbon and all those people. But yeah, so... Uh, what was I saying? I don't want them to get promoted up too high because I do want them to kind of continue to like struggle a bit in their lives uh, for money, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to let her get this uh, logic skill point. Did you not want to watch uh, the TV, Bob? Do you know what? Actually, why don't we turn that off? And you can have a little nap because you had to get up pretty early this morning. And then this afternoon, once Betty gets this logic skill point, we'll go out to a community lot and see if we can make some friends with some people. 
Uh, someone also left me a comment about getting the newbies a dog, I think. Like maybe a Dalmatian or something. You don't want a nap? Okay. Well, in that case, let's just seize the moment before their needs are too terrible. Um, you can go pee and let's call a cab to go explore Old Town. Let's see. Yeah, let's go out today see if we can make some friends. I do want, um, I do, I do want them to get like a couple more promotions, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, you can come and just sit here while we wait. Okay, the shuttle bus is here. So let's go and maybe we'll head to the park, I guess. Be fine. Or the pool hall. Yeah, now let's go to the park. Ooh. Let's go. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. That was a big yawn. Let's go to MacArthur Square. I did not get much sleep last night. I'll be honest. I got to bed kind of late because my husband was up doing stuff till really late. And I, I find it really difficult to go to sleep before he comes to bed because I know he's going to come in and wake me up when he comes to bed. Um, and then I fed the baby at 2 and then I fed the baby at five. And when I woke up at five, I saw the news about uh, the queen, God rest her soul. And I thought that was really sad. And uh, I actually really struggled to get back to sleep after that because I was looking at all the news headlines and reading all the stories about Queen Liz. And just, yeah, it was it was quite upsetting. And I couldn't get back to sleep after, after that very well. So then I sort of dozed until about seven. Yeah, from probably about six till seven, I, I sort of half was half asleep. Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. So yes, I am a little, I am a little sleep deprived today. Uh, but you know, what's new? It's fine. All right. So yes, let's just chat. Let's make friends with the burbs, uh, to start with. There's Claire in her new outfit that I gave her too. Might be a good sim to get to know. But yeah, we'll spend, we'll spend today trying to make some friends. Then we'll go home, we'll sleep, and then we'll try to get Bob and Betty's relationship up a little higher. Betty towards Bob is actually 100 over 99, but Bob towards Betty is 82 over 81. So she's a lot more in love with him than he is with her, which is a little sad, but what can you do? Uh, I'm just going to speed through. Oh, have we been kicked out of the way? Oh, Mama's here. Hey, Mama. Who else is here? I think we... we all our interactions got cancelled because we had to move out the way of the shuttles. <laughs> That's fair. Um, is WC friendly, the saxophone player? Okay, so Bob's using the bathroom. Uh, why don't you both get a coffee? Waste, waste some money on a coffee. Why not? Oh, and did the burbs leave? Mum is talking to the bird over here. Yeah, the burbs might have actually left. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, bye pastry, Betty. Uh, that's Michael Bachelor. He's not who I was hoping to see. I'm hoping to see Wesley. Because, yeah, Bob's actually not too far off being friends with Wesley Hero. So if we could run into him, that would be very, very helpful. Did you eat your pastry, love? I think you did. Go ahead and get yourself an espresso as well. Okay, are you going to the bathroom? Because you need to go to the bathroom. Who's this? Oh, Ginia. Ginia's here. Hello. And then there's Elden Hick as well. Everyone loves this fountain quite a lot, don't they? <laughs> Fair enough, it's a very pretty fountain. Okay, well, I guess we can chat a bit with Claire. Uh, with, with Betty. Let's have Betty chat a bit with Claire. See if we can get to know her a little. You're trying to get some comfort from these extremely uncomfortable looking chairs. Good luck with that, Bob. Oh, Julia's here. So is Wesley here as well? Hmm... I feel like usually when Sims come out to community lots in The Sims 1, they come as a family. But no, it looks like she's actually not here. I mean, Wesley's actually not here. Julia's come by herself. Oh, bugger. Okay, well, I don't know. You're probably not famous enough to associate with Julia Hero. Sorry, Bob. So, uh, Betty, let's just have you see if we can chat with Claire a little. Oh, we actually know Claire a little bit. Okay, well, let's talk with her. Come on. There you go. Oh, did everyone see there was a new little little sneak peek snippet released from Paralives today, uh, which was showing their interaction queue. And it's a little different. So it's like not the roundabout menu. It's kind of like more of a drop down menu. But you can um, shift click to like queue up the same interaction and again and again and again and again. So handy. So I could just like shift click, 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 click talking about interests rather than having to click it every single time. I thought that was such a neat idea. I was like, that is clever. And then the other feature they have is you can like 
pin interaction so then you can just hit right click on like a toilet and they'll just go and use the toilet because they're familiar with that interaction or something just just cleverness cleverness i like it i like this um taking so much user feedback on board and making things really convenient and easy for the players so cool very excited about paralives I know there's, there's still a lot of doubters out there about Paralyzed, I feel like. <laughs> My husband's one of them. He's like, nah, it's a scam. They're not actually making the game. They're just taking everyone's money. But I'm like, I don't think so. Okay, so Betty's not in a great mood. We may not have a lot of luck continuing to socialize. Let's just do this one more conversation. And then we may have to call the cab to go home because our, our needs are just too low at this point to continue socializing. Which is an unfortunate thing that just tends to happen in uh, The Sims 1. <laughs> you can only be out for so long before The Sims are like, nah, we're done. Take us home. That's too much. We're tired and uncomfortable. Oh, Gunther's here. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Yes. Mm. All right. Well, we stayed out till 9 p.m., but of course, time will be reset when we get back home, back to the morning. So we will have them both uh, go back to bed for a, a nice sleep because they're both very tired and uncomfortable. That'll help a lot of the current situation with the needs that we have. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Uh, and then once they wake up, we'll have them have some fun together. Oh, no. <laughs> The tragic clown, no. I let my sims get too sad and we've got this idiot here waking us up from our sleep. Are you serious, Sonny? Get the crap out of my house, man. Let us sleep, dude. Us to leave. Us to leave. Get out of here. We're trying to sleep. He's like, no, I can't leave yet. You're still too sad. Well, let us sleep. No, you're the worst. <laughs> Who came up with the concept of Sunny the Tragic Clown? Because that's very mean. Let's see if he'll let us nap. Betty can get up. Her energy's not actually too bad. I'm thinking if she gets up and uh, makes some food, maybe she can just freshen up as well. Oh my god, stop, Sunny. <laughs> we need to try to get Bob's mood higher so that Sunny will, like, leave. Just hit yourself on the head with your... Juggling buttons serves you right, Sonny. But yeah, who's, whose idea was Sonny the Tragic Clown? <laughs> he is pretty funny, I guess. Okay, and then Betty's going to go ahead and serve some dinner. Her mood's now at least in the green, so I'm hoping that once we have that taken care of, dinner taken care of, stop it with the blow and the horns and the noises and stuff, dude. Then I can get Bob up to eat and then we can spend spend the, after, the evening just like cuddling in front of the TV or something. That might be nice. Um, and just bond. Bond as a couple. All right. Up you get, Bob. Are you like spitting? He's just walking around crying and spitting at this point. What a guy. What a guy. He's like, Bob's like, oh, I can't sit down. Seriously, Bob. <laughs> Oh, we never said you were the sharpest tool in the shed, did we, Bob? Okay, so Betty's just going to go and sit, relax, in front of the TV. You're going to just go and use the toilet real quick. His mood's still got, like, a little bit of red. I still don't rightly know how to get rid of Sunny the Tragic Clown, but I'm assuming that I just need to try to in improve everybody's mood moods in the household so that he no longer feels the need to be here. I'm assuming. Are you guys not getting along? Oh, no. Can you talk about exercise see if you get along about exercise i don't know that they get along about exercise either what about parties let's try talking about parties betty that's right this couple doesn't like anything that the other person likes hey he left he left okay i did it i got their moods up high enough that he felt comfortable leaving us in peace <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, look, we got two bars with Betty and two bars with Bob. Okay. Well, this um, this sitting and just watching TV is not actually helping our relationship much at all. Yeah, we've gone down to 76 over 80 now. Oh, dear. Can we just cuddle? Let's just see if we can cuddle on the couch a little bit. I mean, Betty should accept because she likes us more than we like him. I mean, <laughs> she likes us more than he likes her. There we go. There we go, some nice snuggles. 
<laughs> Why? Why are you talking about stuff that you don't get along about? Change topic. Talk about the 60s. Do we get along about the 60s? <laughs> this is hopeless. About food. Do we get along about food? I've got to find one topic that they can agree on. Food. Let's talk about food. Come on. <laughs> what is this? They don't like the same foods. That's right, because Bob has no interests in, like, anything. Right. So he likes parties and exercise. Well, you guys should get along about exercise. You have a really similar interest level in exercise, actually. So why can't I talk about that and have a positive conversation? These sims just do not... Hollywood! Can we talk about Hollywood? Come on. Oh, they've just stopped talking now? Okay, well, can we kiss? Okay, well, we can kiss on the couch at least. Oh, look, he just got a little heart for us. Let's, uh, let's kiss again. Let's just keep kissing. We have to eventually get these two to have br baby brandy, don't we? For the storyline. All right, fine. We've had enough uh, cuddle time on the couch. Let's let's go to bed. I've probably left it. Oh my god, it's two a.m. Oopsie. I kept these Sims up way too late because Bob's gonna have to get up and call in sick for work again. <gasps> oh no, El Bandito's on my lot. All right, well let's see if we can get Bob to get up and call in sick. <laughs> These sims are having a weekend, okay? They're having a weekend game. Let me, let me live. Let me live, please. Um, and then he's going to go back to bed. Um, okay. So hopefully it doesn't matter that we've called in sick two days in a row. Hopefully. Oh, God. And Betty's carpool too. I really shouldn't have kept these sims up until 2 a.m. That was a bad choice. Staying up till 2am is usually a bad choice when you have a job, let's be real. <laughs> Unless you're a shift worker, in which case you can uh, stay up as late as you want. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to sleep as well. I'm going to try to have them get full energy bars today. Okay, Bob's getting up. That's fine. He can go ahead and jump in the shower. Betty is also about to wake up. Let's have her come in and uh, serve lunch. No. Third time's the charm. There we go. Sometimes I really struggle to click on the correct option in these Sims games. If you watch a lot of me, you will know this. Oh, my baby's awake. Why are you awake? It's only been 20 minutes since I put you down for your nap. Oh, man. All right, I think the baby is settled for a little bit more sleep. I'm crossing my fingers. Uh, yeah, let's see how we go. He's in his swing in the living room because apparently napping in the crib is not something he wants to do today. That's all right. All right, so Bob and Betty are going to have a little bit of food and then we'll be on to day two of their weekend. Why can't you? It's okay. You can't, you literally can't sit in that chair. What if I move it there for you? Pardon me. Yes, you're happy with that. Okay. So the mission for today is still to make these family friends that we're trying to make. So we actually got pretty far with Claire Charming, uh, further than we got with Tiffany Burb. I swear, Tiffany is just like a really difficult sim to get along with. Uh, it seems that no one is able to actually make friends with her. And then Brad, uh, Brad did pretty well with, sorry, this is Bob. I was thinking about Brad Burb. He did all right with Brad Burb, but he's actually close to being friends with Diane Pleasant or Wesley Hero. So we might head out again today and see if we can run into either of those Sims, uh, hopefully, on a community lot. But we'll just uh, let the Sims get all dressed, ready, get their needs up as high as I possibly can. One of the things that this couple struggles with the most is definitely their comfort need and their fun and just, well, everything really. But um, yeah, hopefully I can get them feeling good before we head out I don't even know I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get oh my god it's already 2 p.m. oh my lord well maybe we'll go to the pool hall yeah we'll go to the pool hall tonight so that they can have some fun while they're out uh, let's go ahead and eat some more food because apparently we need to eat more food <laughs> uh, and then yeah then we can see who we can run into down at the pool hall I love that Bob just never flushes the toilet Betty does she's a nice neat sim 
Alright, so Betty, just while Bob finishes his food, you can just watch some TV. Sorry if you can hear my dogs, by the way. They're in the room with me so they don't wake up the baby um, in the living room. Okay, here we go. So let's call uh, to explore Old Town again. Probably need to water our plants at some stage too. That can be a problem for tomorrow. Oh. Alright, let's, uh, let's get down to the pool hall. Oh my gosh, look at all of our stuff outside as well that we need to clean up. Oh dear. Alright Betty, let's go honey. You want to be a politician? You got to leave your house, go make friends with people around the neighborhood. You got to get well connected, you know? Okay, and there's Fluffy, right? Yeah, we need to clean this up. We need to have a day or an afternoon. Maybe when we get back from the pool hall after we have a sleep, we can do some cleaning up before we go back to work tomorrow. I'm like one of those people, where's the pool hall? Who, I don't actually enjoy doing chores on a weekend. <laughs> I'm like, I'll do chores first thing Monday morning, but on the weekend, just let me have fun, relax, you know? I just, yeah. I'm not about that chore on the weekend life. All right, so we have Bella, Mortimer, and Cassandra here so far. We are not connected with those sims whatsoever. So for now, I'm just going to go and, uh, yeah, let these guys have a little bit of fun. Yeah, we have no relationship budding with the goths at all. Okay, so that's all right. Yeah, let's just go ahead and play and uh, get our fun need up while we wait for hopefully some more sims to arrive who we do want to be friends with. Excuse me. Okay, well there's Michael Bachelor. Michael's always coming out to the community lots, naturally, but we don't actually want to be friends with him, so we'll just continue to have some fun, play some games, wait for hopefully someone else. Look at our comfort just like diving down. Let's go ahead and just uh, sit down. Uh, Jeff Pleasant is here. We want Diane Pleasant. <laughs> I'm getting so unlucky with the random sims who are appearing on the lots at the moment, I swear. No, don't go and talk. Just go and sit. The other problem is that you tell the sims to sit down, right? So that they can recover their comfort need. And then they're constantly like, no, I want to get up and go and do this thing. No, I want to get up and go and do this. Uh, well, I guess let's, uh, let's chat with Bella. See, here he is. He's like, no, I don't want to sit down. No, I don't want to sit down. Sit. Sit, Bob, sit. Yeah, let's talk with Bella, I guess, while she's here. Hi, Bella. The gods do need to make some more friends as well, so... Let's just line up a bunch of chats with her. Who's this? Elden Hick. Also not a sim that I'm hoping to get to know. Um, Alright, why don't you buy a pastry? Blowing all of our money on... Uh, being out, like buying coffees, pastries, playing pool, playing pinball. <laughs> it's alright, we don't need money for anything else, do we? It's fine. Who's this? Melissa. Okay, Melissa is a, yet another sim who we don't actually want to get to know right now. This is so unfortunate. Maybe I should have just... Oh, Wesley's here! Yes! I was about to say, maybe I should have just like invited over the people that we wanted to get to know rather than chancing at a community lot. But like usually the sims are pretty good about coming out to the community lot. So Wesley's here, which is great. Let's go ahead and talk with him like a lot, if possible. 29 over 22. So like hopefully we can at least make this friendship. And then Betty's still working on, oh my God, my dogs are about to bark, sorry. And probably wake up the baby again. I'm fine, I swear. But yeah, uh, Betty's still talking to Bella. They're actually getting along quite well. They've got 33 over 3 for a relationship now. Make friends. Must make friends. Look at all this. <laughs> well, it seems like they get along pretty well at least. Come on. We're going to come out of today with two family friends. I am so determined. But this is, yeah, this is good for Bella as well. Because the Goths need to make more friends so that Mortimer can continue to get promoted up in his career. So this is going to be helpful for them too. Oh no, what's happened? Yes, we're friends with Wesley. I don't think we quite got to being friends with Bella though. So let's go ahead and uh, just try to get that to happen. I think Betty had to go pee pees, which is understandable. Bob's doing okay. His mood is okay. We're 63 over 24 with Wesley. So that's excellent. Wait, did Bella leave? Oh, I think Bella left. Damn it. We were so close. All right. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and go home. Let's go home before their needs are absolutely trashed. And then maybe we can just call Bella and make friends with her over the phone. I doubt that's going to happen, but we can try. 
Yes, please come pick me up. Oh wait, Belle is back! No, she's back! No, no, we don't want to get on the shuttle now. Belle again. Damn it. <laughs> Ain't that always the way. And Diane's here, so we could have made friends with her too. Oh. Absolute rubbish. All right, well, as always, I think the first thing we're going to do is, uh, let's actually turn off the TV. Yeah, let's actually get you to nap. You can go ahead and just, uh, use the toilet first. Oh, I forget. Oh, okay. That wasn't well thought out, was it? Wait, can you nap with the TV on? No. <laughs> I was going to say, that would be very surprising. She's like, ah, oh, why is this TV on? Oh, why didn't I turn it off before I went for my nap? I don't know, Betty. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Okay, I think this food might actually be still good so Bob can eat. I'm just thinking, like, I want them to get a bit of an earlier night tonight <laughs> compared to the last couple nights. So if I don't let them sleep as much, that might actually be a better idea because Bob has to get up very early for work. So, yeah, maybe... I'll have him just go to bed now and then he can be to bed for the night. It's 7 p.m. but that's okay. And then Betty, after she's eaten a bit, she can go ahead and just clean up a little, just recycle all these things, water the plants, you know, just take care of some things before she also goes to bed. Um, and then they're, at least their front yard will be looking a little cleaner. Look at their room score out there. Oof. Oopsie. The phone? Right, I guess we can answer that. Please be money. Ah! Oh, interesting. Megabyte. Mm, I think uh, Wesley gave Bob a little hint <laughs> about what to name the pit bull. Uh, because, yeah, I swear that that just happened for Wesley as well. Just the last episode. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Right, well, at least we got one family friend. So Betty was the one who needed two, but Bob's at least got his requirements to actually uh, get a promotion, maybe, potentially. So that's something. Okay, let's go ahead and get him out of bed. Uh, he can go ahead and have a quick breakfast. No, it's very early in the morning, but his carpool comes at like 7 a.m. So he needs to, or 6 a.m. even? Yes, yeah, 6 a.m. So he needs to get up super early so he can take care of some of his needs before he goes to work. Uh, Betty can get up now as well and use the bathroom and then have, have a quick breakfast too. Yeah, I'm really bummed that we didn't manage to make friends with Bella because we are 52 over 4 for our relationship with Bella. And if I just held off a little bit longer on calling the, calling the thing to come home, I might have been able to do it, but that's okay. Okay, so you've got just another couple of minutes maybe before you got to go. Why don't you go make a gnome? Is that fun? Do you have fun making gnomes? Let's find out. He does not have fun making gnomes. Okay, never mind. Stop that then. Okay, Betty's looking a lot happier. Um, she's got a little bit of time to make herself breakfast. And then I wonder if it would be... So her carpool arrives at 8. I wonder if, if we call Bella after 7 a.m. if we'd get in trouble. If <laughs> she'd be like, why are you calling me at 7 o'clock in the morning? Or if 7 o'clock in the morning in the world of The Sims is acceptable. Let's find out. I mean, the sun's up, so therefore it must be fine, right? <laughs> uh, I doubt it somehow, but let, let's see. Goth, Bella, call, chat. Okay, well, she kind of yelled at us, but we still ended up with a positive interaction. So I'll take that as a win. However, we did... Oh, no, we did make friends. We didn't get a pop-up, but we did make friends. So potentially, she could get promoted today. Potentially. Let's find out what happens. When are you going to be home? One. Okay, Bob's home. He brought home money, but not a promotion. Okay, well, you know, 180 simoleons is, is still good at this point because we're a little bit poor. I'm going to get you to... Uh, maybe just use the toilet and then come out here and do the gardening. All right, Bob. Um, cause yeah, I do think that would be helpful. Take care of the garden and then you come home at 3 PM. Right. So then hopefully you might get a promotion. I doubt it, but you know, at the very least she'll bring home 360. Oh, that's right. We got money from the phone too. Okay. So we're not as destitute as I was fearing. 
Oh wow, so Betty, you've been promoted to campaign manager. Salary jumps, but overtime work increases. You must still maintain neighborhood relationships and domestic tranquility. You need to cultivate your image. Practice charisma, develop that all important spin control. What's spin control? Oh yeah, like putting a spin on things. Yeah. Without it, your political career is sunk, but friends in the right places can sometimes be very useful. You now work nine till six. Nine till six. Ouch. Starting immediately, you brought home 430 plus 860. Okay, well, that is like a really, really good promotion. I'm so proud of you, Betty. Congratulations, darling. Uh, let's. Oh, look at her. Look at her cute outfit. She's got this like. Ah! <laughs> yep. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the politician's wife kind of vibe. And of course, now my child's crying because my dog started barking in the living room. Have four dogs and have a baby. It's fun. Now, honestly, the dogs are mostly fine. You'd be surprised how how low key it actually is most of the time. But it's just on the days when he's having trouble with naps, um, and then the dogs are carrying on. That's that's when it gets really rough, for sure. Why don't you play some checkers, Bob? You might enjoy it. Get everybody to be in good moods, and then maybe you guys can can have a little bit of couple time. Um, why don't you go ahead? No, 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 don't have dinner. Serve dinner. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? And then after dinner, we'll try to canoodle a bit and see if you guys want to have a baby, maybe. A little girl named Brandy, preferably. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Does Brandy have any siblings in Sims Law? Leave me a comment if you know. Yay! Bob got a logic skill point. I'm so proud of you, Bob. Well done. Okay, food's up, so why don't you go ahead and have a nice nice dinner with your wife. Um, we could also think about... No, we probably need a little more money. I, I still want to extend their house a little further, so I want this to be the living room and then to have a bedroom built on out the back here. Because this room, this is like an entryway and they've got a TV living room sort of set up in here, but it's, <laughs> it's not the nicest. So, yeah, I would like it if we could... If we could do a little better for their living room and then their bedroom as well. Okay, why don't you go ahead and sit down. All right, come in, come in here, Betty. Can we do a intimate hug? Let's see. Will you be okay with that, Bob? Oh, oh nice hugs. All right, their relationship is really struggling. So let's see, can we like do a polite kiss? I think as long as... Damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think as long as I don't have them talk to each other, we'll be okay. What do you mean you're not in a good mood? You're in a great mood. Why? Can we gossip? Will that be a positive interaction? Because yeah, talking about interests with these two Sims, oh, that was another negative. Doesn't tend to go well. I mean, we can try. Okay, we got one little plus. Let's try just watching TV. <laughs> Damn it. Why did she reject? Why Why would Betty reject a kiss from Bob? I don't understand. Oh, come on, you guys. Change topic Hollywood. Talk about Hollywood. I want to see if you guys get along about Hollywood. Please. I'm not seeing any like pluses or minuses over their heads right now. They don't seem to be able to agree on anything. Yeah, no, she, they don't get along about exercise apparently. Oh man. This relationship is just going down the freaking gurgler. Okay, well they're both in like pretty good moods now. So let's see. Can I? Can I? Have you two do some romantic interactions? Come on, work with me here. Can we do an intimate hug? I know you're tired, Betty, but this is important. Okay, we can intimate hug. Can we just do that like five times? What about a romantic hug? What about a tickle? Okay, hugs are fine. Oh, she didn't like the tickle, damn it. Hugs are fine. <laughs> Can we just can we just uh, spam the hugs or will she eventually get sick of that? She'll probably eventually get sick of that, won't she? I mean, we always we almost like Wesley as much as we like our wife. Good lord. 
Okay, what about... What can I do? What can I do that you'll actually accept? I don't know, I don't want to risk it. Let's just like... Let's just do more hugs. <laughs> just cuddles. Bob's love language is uh, physical touch. Nope, nope, she's had enough hugs too. Oh my god, stop. No, 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 damn it! I didn't cancel the... In Two steps forward, three steps back. We're down to 59 over 72. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess that's going to do it <laughs> for the newbies. <laughs> oh, no, this was so hard. <sighs> this family is tough, man. These relationships, relationships in The Sims 1 are tough. Um, if you have any tips for me, leave them below. I guess, like, what we could do is continue to try to get their interests to match a little better but they're not awful like they both have some interest in hollywood but apparently they can't get along about hollywood so maybe if we make bobs a little higher and then food is like food and parties and style is close exercise is close they're both not very interested in music or the outdoors and then these ones are all, are, are all very different though so maybe if I can get Bob more interested in some of these things, then they might have an okay relationship. Because basically I just want them to have a baby and then they can hate each other as much as they want. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am going to leave it here. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead, leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll be back next week with the goths, which is, is always a fun time. We love the goths. So uh, yeah, everybody take care. Have a great week. And until next time, bye for now.